quick update. Uh, I'm working on, obviously I'm working on the kitchen right now, but I actually found a mobile home window at Lowe's, brand new for $30. And literally perfect for this space in my kitchen, which will probably be uh, maybe like right here. But um, yeah, $30, I had been looking for a window light is so important to me and um it was gonna be pretty dark in here minus like the skylights that i'm gonna have but i wanted to make sure that i had a window so i could look out um, i might get another one and put it somewhere else if i can this is really the only open space left other than like cutting out some of the the uh the wood walls that i've done but I feel like this is perfect. It'll give me a lot of light and allow me to have, um, you know, that ambiance in in the kitchen, which is, you know, light makes a difference, man. So anyway, I found that for thirty dollars. If anybody else is looking for uh, a window for their van or their their truck, uh, get one of these. Again, it's a it's a single single pane, super easy to open. You just slide those over, open it up. It has a screen, and again, I got this from Lowe's for thirty dollars. If you're outside the U.S., I'm sure they have something comparable, but it's a pretty good deal.
Man. Get ready to freeze are coming. Now I got another refrigerator, like a mini fridge, and it just it was gonna use too much power. So um, I got the Dometic, uh, pretty good refrigerator, refrigerator and freezer. And that will allow me to have, you know, both of that functionality and it runs on 12 volt, which is great. There it is, guys. Look at that. How you doing? Uh, is it possible to put it on the porch? Uh, is it heavy? I mean, we, we can lift it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
drawer slides mounted for the refrigerator, which is here. Um, uh oh. So the issue was solved. <laughs> Just had to push it in. So got the drawer slide. This is for the the um, refrigerator right here. So we'll go right here, and there'll be a cabinet front face right here with the handle that I can pull out. working on the switch for the sink right now this this will be temporary but I at least need water so this is the switch that will turn the pump on and allow me to have water in my sink so just a single pole single throw switch uh, which connects the circuit and I have the uh, I just got one of these five gallon jugs right here the piping actually fits perfectly in it have it connected to the water pump and it goes up into my sink here's the gray water tank again this is a temporary setup for now uh, what I plan to do is have tanks underneath the truck but uh, yeah like I said I need water for now at least need to brush my teeth <laughs> anyway we're gonna try and test this out all right y'all I got the switch in place for the pump it's right here let's see if it works Oh shoot! Oh, got a leak. <laughs> fix that ASAP. I'm going to attempt to install the the water system, so the water pump and um, the water tanks. So right now I just have this uh, five gallon tank, and then the uh, bl the black water, the gray water, um, is right. It'll go into here. I'm not I'm not too happy with this I'm gonna fix this later I really just want to see if the uh, if the sink will work well maybe maybe I'll try and reconfigure these pipes I haven't quite gotten that yet because I don't have enough clearance below the sink so uh, maybe I'll try that now but the water pump is here and um, if you saw my Instagram story or post you saw that the water spilled everywhere when I hooked it up the first time so I'm gonna try this again and I'm gonna put a plastic bag down sorry it's a mess underneath so let's get started what's the way when did my turn Okay, so we've got the pump here. I got bags underneath everything just in case it leaks. Um, I just use the shark bites just to connect. These two were leaking before, but I feel like this should work now. And I just have one line, the, the, uh, the cold line going in until um, I get hot water. But here's the valve for the switch and everything's connected. That's the strainer right there. So. We'll see how this goes. All right, y'all. I'm gonna try this again. Turn that water on. Let me put the water flow in place. Is that right? Yes, the water is flowing, and it's not, and it's flowing. Okay. Ugh. Um. Captain Morgan Spice Rum is always necessary when you are hooking up the sink. Remember that. I don't 
encourage drinking though. That's not unless you're 21 or older. Oh shoot. I gotta hook it back up to the power system. One second. Okay. I have the wires hooked up to the the uh, 12 volt terminal. We're gonna see what happens. I'll leave you guys over here with it. I got the I got the pump covered just in case, you know. Wet. Right. Let's see if this works. So the pump is on. Uh, the pressure is in the in the lines. I can I can feel it. The pressure's in the lines. Let's check, let's check the sink, guys. I'm so, I'm so excited. Let's check the sink to see if it works. And we have water and it's leaking <laughs> ah it's leaking out of there all right that's a good thing though that's a good sign word all right so I gotta tighten those up all right so it looks like I forgot a washer that goes on the hose part, um, I forgot the hose because I can spray it out. It's its its own hose. Um, so I'll get this, if I can untwist it right here. I'm gonna cut it off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. Uh, this washer actually goes in here, and I didn't have it in there, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I think. Maybe? Yeah. Uh-oh. All right, we're gonna try it again. See if any water comes out. Let's see. Yep, sure did. All right, all right, update. I didn't really do much and the sink is working now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Usually it's not a good thing when you didn't do something and things work. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I came across. And no leak. What does that mean? It's working though. And it's draining in here. I shouldn't be draining this good water. All right, I'm done. I'm done, I got the water level there. 
it's working so I'm gonna monitor it and make sure no 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 uh, leaks are taking place actually there is a leak damn it it's a leak in the drain right here ah uh, uh, what do I do I don't know what to do about that I guess I'd have to drain the sink and then uh, drain that pipe that's what I'm gonna do so here we have the final setup well for now the final setup of the sink five gallon recyclable water tank um, these are the water jugs that you see on top of the water systems in like an office or you know in public spaces even at home and this is my great water tank and so um, I know some of you looking at this and you're probably smacking your forehead uh, I will have a P trap or an S trap um, here I, I needed to figure out the spacing first so this this will change however the water does drain um, into this perfectly fine there's no like leftover water um, in here uh, nothing nothing substantial anyway um, and I don't have any smells like I don't have a bunch of food in the sink and you know it's mainly just toothbrush uh, like from brushing my teeth water from brushing my teeth and rinsing out uh, from soap washing my hands rinsing out dishes whatever um, and yeah I'm actually gonna these these uh, these uh, pipes these flexible pipes are just too long um, so I'm either gonna wrap them around and then uh, cable them down or find some shorter pipes um, I have my shutoff switch here and I also have another one here which you saw earlier in the episode I mounted the water pump up here for now but I'm sure this will change I want to put some rectangular water tanks in the truck especially for the shower too so and then that we have working water everything works like it should so yeah that's the water system make sure you share this episode um, if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel below and uh, I'm just trying to get this information out so people have knowledge knowledge is power and then you can make the decision on if you want something like this or not